Hi, my name is Catherine McGill and I'm continuing showing you some simple flower designs. This one is a cat food tin on screwed onto a piece of birch. My oasis has been in soaking and I think I used that one again for cutting. We're going to cut this one down just a touch to fit the tin. I'm going to squish it down over the garbage can so we don't have water everywhere. There we go. And again, this one is a little bit tall. You want the oasis overhanging or above the tin line, but you don't want it too tall. Um, what that does is gives you something to put your flowers in so that they overhang the tin so you can hide the tin. If it was flat with the tin, you all your flowers would have to be straight up and your tin would have to be part of your design because you wouldn't be able to hide it. So I'm going to use some, let's add some U. This is out of the garden. Cutting the U, I'm going to take off the, the little needles and a fresh cut, ideally at an angle, so that you, um, your plant can pick up more water. I'm going to find the tallest one that I can find, which is straighter. Who's straight in this bunch? I have a curly bunch. So I'm going to use this one. Now this is showing pretty wide, so you can easily edit some off so that it's not showing as wide and taking up visually as much space. Put that one in the middle. And then I'm just going to do four corners. And you can go out to your garden and see what's still green, see what's still going. Because we still have lots of things that are are nice and green in the in the yards or in your neighbor's yard. You can go visit your neighbor, take the dog for a walk in a in a flashlight. Or not, you didn't hear it from me. Um, I actually have great neighbors and they know that I will I have asked them ahead of time and they have said yes, you can help yourself. So this plant would be very, very similar. So I'm not going to use this one today. We're going to go with oops, some leatherback because I have leatherback from buying the flowers. They came with some leatherback fern. And again, I'm just going to go around the four, in between the four that I've already put in. And these are going in diagonally or on a downward tilt to hide the, the tin a little bit, just to camouflage. It doesn't have to be gone, but you want to just have it peeking through, not, look at me. We have Euonymus. Whenever I say Euonymus, I want to sing that hippopotamus song. All I want for Christmas is a, don't know why. Brain works in mysterious ways, especially mine. <laughs> have fun. Have your kids come. There is no wrong, there, there, there's not a huge wrong or right way. Um, this is for fun. If you're looking to do competitions and get better and better with it, uh, join your local horticulture society. Haldeman has one. Haldeman Horticulture Society, uh, and they have a CD Saturday coming up, which is a great online event right now, this year, uh, with lots of different speakers, and it's all free, but it's, uh, it's a fun way of, of learning and keep learning. Now, I've added some variegated euonymus, and you can see right away 
how it brought some light into the arrangement. And then we're going to do some flowers. Again, I'm going to do, I bought a bundle of dyed bums. These are dyed with food coloring. They're put in a, in a bucket, in a glass, and add food coloring, and voila, you have some fun, pretty colors. I'm doing three. We usually work in threes in the flower industry, odd numbers. And that's so your eye travels. These, this one had some multi leaves, and I'm just pulling them off. It won't hurt it. And let's see. We have lots of green, so let's go with another color. This green has some pretty white in it, and that should bring another tone to the arrangement. These flowers have all been conditioned, and what that means is they've been in a bucket of water, usually tepid, lukewarm water, and let them drink as much as they can, ideally overnight, but at least a couple of hours. And that will give you the longest lasting flowers that you can have. And they usually come with packets of food. If you're buying the plants from the, the flower store, grocery store. And that, uh, that food will help extend their life as well. So do use it. Um, if you want to extend Oh, I know a fun tip that you might like. When you're buying tulips, you know those pennies that you never got to the bank and that you keep finding under the couch? Add a penny or two to your vase of tulips. The copper helps keep the tulips upright and they won't sag as much every day because they go up and down every day. So, lots of fun tips. You can use pop, you can use an aspirin. There's lots of different things that people use in the flower arranging for keeping the flowers freshest but that food that they give you and if they if you don't have a, if you're buying a bundle of flowers and they don't have it ask they usually have lots and they'll give it to you there's no charge for the freshener for your flowers I'm cutting these short because I need uh, I don't need a long gauze a long stem because this is just a short flower arrangement. And I think I want a little bit of the baby's breath just to pull dead center, just to bring a little bit more light dead center. There you go. So it's just a little design on birch, done in a cat food tin. Enjoy.